hey guys welcome back to my channel when tay talk i am tay and i am here for another episode of here we go with the bullshit okay y'all everything on the channel is alleged in my opinion and for entertainment purposes only please like this video subscribe to the channel and also click the bell notification so that you know each and every time i upload a new video okay and also share the video with family, friends, enemies, and frenemies. Okay? Cookie want to say hi to everybody. Say hi! Y'all see her nails painted? Say you mofos get like me. Okay. Get on over there, Cookie. Okay, I just came to y'all with a little quick snippet. So, um, I don't know if everybody knows what's going on. But, um, earlier today, well, maybe a couple hours ago, um, Dr. Shanita Foster had went live on Instagram um, to um, express her disgust of a melameter that came in her inbox all wrong. Okay? Um... She said that I guess the person was, um, and I got this from Empress Radio, who got it from T Talk with your girl. Okay, so go subscribe to both of those channels if you want to hear the video. Go to T Talk channel, she has the original video on her um, channel. She had the live up with the recording and everything. So if you want to catch, uh, see what was happening on there, go over there. Um, I just watched, you know, their videos to see what was going on and to see what she said. I didn't necessarily, well, again, well, she was talking about someone claiming to be a melameter, came in her comment section, and <clears throat> was talking crap, um, like, you know, well, male spoils them, or some or us, and replies immediately, so she just assumed, I guess, that Dr. Shanita is male, I don't, I don't know what the fuck, okay, but it don't sound like a melameter to me, okay, first off, when people are doing rude things like that, they don't usually announce themselves. Like, if <laughs> if a crip is going, you know, somewhere to commit a crime or something or going to some type of gang thing, they're not going to go in there and say, I'm a crip. I did it. I'm a crip. Like you, they're not gonna announce that, you know, because so, they're doing something bad. They're not gonna leave the announcement there, uh, or who they are or what rep they claim, you know, so they can get damn caught. Okay, because I'm quite sure that the millimeters know not to disrespect male's friends like that. Like, why would you be disrespectful and rude to male's friends? Um, to me. I feel like Dr. Shanita is a friend of Mel's. Um, so, and that also means that she's her friend. It still does not mean that she's Melody. So, I don't give a fuck if Melody reply to you in 10 damn seconds. That doesn't mean that somebody else is going to do it. Like, who the fuck do you think that's supposed to go? Like, how that's supposed to go? Like, I don't know what's wrong with people, but again, I don't even think it was a millimeter. I think it was some creep that then crept in her damn DMs, fake pretending like they some type of millimeter or is fake pretending with her at first. I got an idea of two people who I think it might be. Y'all see the cut on my finger? I cut the excess part of it off, the dead skin part off. Um... And y'all, my um, my gums are killing me in the back. Like the tooth, I had the tooth extracted a long time ago, back there. But the gums are sore. I think it's my wisdom tooth trying to come in. And I know I'm old as hell, but I can't get my wisdom teeth removed. Um, they wasn't causing me any type of problems or anything. Like, this side over here, I had my um, tooth removed in the back over here, too. And, like, if you look at it, you can see a little gap in there. But the wisdom tooth has come up, and it looks like the tooth was never extracted. 
um but this side it the where the tooth was at like it has closed up but like I think like I said the wisdom tooth is trying to come through there like my bottom wisdom teeth are like this so they coming in they was coming in like this but this one on this side must have came in and came up but this one over here hasn't came through yet um but like I said they like since they were in there like this they were at an eye position that they couldn't remove these either and um the top ones are very high um in my sinus cavity so they couldn't remove those it would be like a major surgery if I had my wisdom teeth removed and since they weren't bothering me they were like okay we'll just leave them there um but like the gums over here is so swollen and sore it's been throbbing like for half of the day just like all of a sudden it was like nothing built up or anything it just started throbbing um so I go to the dentist tomorrow And then also my, um, it's nerves wrapped around my wisdom teeth. So again, if they was to try to remove them, I couldn't have it at the dentist office. I would have to go to the hospital because if they nicked anything, I could bleed to death, um, because of the nerves or if they nick one of the nerves, um, I could lose feeling in my lip and all this jaw area and stuff like that. Or my lip can droop. And y'all already know your girl's lips big as fuck. So I can't have them drooping, okay? I can't do that, okay? So that's uh, that's why I was on here like a damn um, sad ass damn can of salmon, okay? Just leave me alone. But back to this mess. Um... So, you know, she was going off like, you know, like, don't do that shit to me. Like, um, you talking about you a millimeter. And I guess the person was trying to do some type of business with her. But since she said the per, uh, since the person said, um, that they was coming to Atlanta and she was like, okay, well, let me know when you get here. And she was like, when she, when they got there, they was just like, I'm here. Like, if you went there to meet up with the person, that wouldn't be your only conversation. And I wonder, has she ever spoken to the person? Because that sounds fishy as well. She said the person had her phone number and they could have called her or whatever the case may be. Dr. Shanita, she said a lot of people got her phone number. She could just block them or whatever. Please be careful with that because some of these people are crazy as fuck. And that could very well be a person that was just <sniffs> fake pretending like they somebody else. As we all have found out on this damn internet. Okay. Some people are not who they say they are. And they are something is wrong with them clinically. Okay. So it that that sounds suspicious to me right there. But even with her being mad like okay like she was pissed and I don't think that she meant to try to offend anybody um a millimeter or anything I think she should have called the person's name out I didn't catch all of this live because she just went live again to clear the air and I'm gonna play that in a second but I wish she would have called the person's name out call them out and say who it is because I doubt of their damn um millimeter for real. And again, like us millimeters, like we don't like we don't even say like we millimeters when we talking to millimeters and stuff like that, or we like activate whatever the case may be. Like when we and people DMs, we're not like hi, I'm Wente Talk, I'm a millimeter. Like we don't do all that shit. <laughs> like <laughs> It's weird. So that's why I don't think it's a real millimeter. And um and, and and again, like I just don't think real millimeters act like that, you know. It's it is some overzealous people or whatever the case may be, but I don't think they're really millimeters. I think they're just obsessed with melody. And I think that's one thing that people confuse millimeters with is people that's obsessed with her. Because it is people that's obsessed with her 
And then there's people that's her fans that can empathize with her journey, can be proud of the outcome of it and things like that. And congratulate her in her positivity and her walk and her purpose. That's very different from somebody being obsessed with her. That's why when people say like, oh, y'all think Melanie is a god or she thinks she's perfect. No, the fuck we don't. Real melameters don't think that because like most of us have like real jobs and all that type of stuff and live real productive lives. Um, we don't have time to obsess about a person. Okay, um, and it's not obsessive. I do think that there are some fans that call themselves Melometers that are actually obsessed with Melody. And those are the ones that I don't feel like is real Melometers. They just uh, have obsessive disorders and things like that. They're just people that get obsessed with people. Like, you know, everything ain't going all the way up the elevator. Okay, as far as that elevator. So, yeah, and that's why we get a bad rap because of the ones that's obsessed with Melody or think that they can control what somebody else thinks or something like that, whatever the case may be. But yeah, <clears throat> I um I wish that she just would have called that person out so we could have been like, oh, okay, so th this who it was. And because I guarantee you, if she would have called that person name out, I bet you that that person is in some of our DMs talking or you know acting a acting a damn fool or saying some stuff that we gonna be like they off and that's why we don't respond to them okay so that's what it is and like even like with melody sometimes she do respond quickly and sometimes she don't like it's it's not a, a a regular pattern. So for you to feel like you owe something from this girl to respond to you because Melody responds to you, like who the fuck do you think you are? I would have been pissed. I don't know if I would have went on the internet to say like it was some type of millimeter or something, or the person said they was a millimeter. I would have came out and busted their ass out and said who the fuck they were and that they were claiming to be a millimeter and that you didn't think so. Okay. Because with, with her doing that, it kind of put into the enemies. Um, mindset they're they're trying to spin this narrative like the millimeters is a bunch of crazed ass damn animals and that's not the case at all again i think it is some people that's off their rocker but real millimeters are critical thinkers and that ain't something that they do they know if a person don't respond back to them um in whatever time frame that they're going to assume that they're busy. Dr. Shanita looked like she busy all the damn time. <coughs> Mel be busy all the damn time. So if they don't respond to your shit in your time frame, they ain't working for you. So you ain't got no time frame technically. Cause the one you made up in your head don't mean shit to them. So keep it moving. Um, but let's see what she had. She wanted to clear the air. So um, let's see what she had to say here. And money. Talking about their struggle. That's not what I do. What, what My struggle was my struggle and for me to grow from. And for me to transform my family and break generational curses. Not to make money off of. So you will never hear me lead a, a talk or a seminar or a book about those types of things from my past because that don't define who I am right now. The things that define who I am right now are the things that I should be telling you. How I got out of depression. How I'll never commit suicide again. How I don't have suicidal thoughts or I'm not depressed. Yeah, we could talk about that, but that stuff, the past, that I don't want that kind of past to make me some money. I don't want that kind of the, the, uh, pain to be what I lead with. That's not what I want to do. I want people to look at a person and see that I'm more than a conqueror, but I don't want you to cry. I, I don't want you to go into the woe is me. I don't be telling them stories because I don't like when people run up to me and start crying. I'd be like, baby, don't cry. Like I know it hurt, but I stopped crying a long time ago. I don't want to cry no more. I don't. Maybe you still 
in your healing journey on them things, but I, I'm past that part. I don't want to keep going back. I don't want to keep reliving my trauma. I don't like money enough to relive my trauma. I don't, what is this? Yeah. I'm not, I, 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 that's not what I, I, I want to do. So no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I want, I want to lead in peace. I want to lead in purpose. I want to lead in getting paid. If y'all want to do something, I said it early, go sponsor one of these girls in Africa for $5 a month with sanitary napkins. If 196 people that was on this call gave me $5 a month, I would be able to sponsor a whole school of girls with sanitary napkins for the entire year. Be productive. Go donate $5 to Beyond the Game. You, you want to get healthy? You need to lose some weight. You need to sleep better. You need to correct your eyesight. You, do you have Alzheimer's and dementia in your family? Because if you do, you should be taking MNN, NMN. Go buy that millimeter special for $100 with nine products because I don't make no money off of that. I did that special recently because Mel was doing a special. The millimeters had slid on over to my page. I'm like, hey, let me give them some of my products too so they can fall in love and get healthy. I don't, I'm not making, y'all think I can give y'all nine products for a hundred dollars and make money, I just be needing people to do some quick math. I'm not making some huge profit. As a matter of fact, I realized the other day my numbers are way off. I ain't even charging enough for shipping, or the the credit card fee that comes along with that, or the boxes, or the tape, or the flyers that go inside. My motives and how I do things is just different. Links are all in my bio or in my stories. Everything is always in my bios and my stories. My LinkedIn got anything and everything you're looking for. People always try to come to. Go, the live is actually in my stories. I just posted a millimeter special again and it's some other stuff. Your eyes, yes, you need a product called Vision. What does Y'all want to talk to talk? Y'all would get off this live if I really start talking about the stuff I have. That product, uh, Vision, has lutein in it. Lutein is for eye strength. For people that wear glasses and your, your eyes are failing you and sometimes your eyes get blurry, you don't have enough lutein in your body. The product has lutein where you can spray it under your tongue and it, if you wear glasses, you might not wear glasses anymore, but it can definitely correct your vision. It can make your eyes clear. For those of you who got them children that won't go to sleep or you can't sleep at night because your mind is running, you need to be taking dreaming so you can get a good night's sleep. Those of you trying to lose weight, you need crave so you can stop craving stuff. Surpre Did this dog just pee? Jordan! I think this dog just peed in the house. I got a nose like a bloodhound. Did this dog just pee in my house? I think I smell pee. Jordan! Or get Jada. Who else is here? I, did this dog just pee in my house? Because I think I smell pee, man. I swear I'm on live and all of a sudden I smell pee. No, come downstairs. I really think the dog just peed in the house. I'm so serious right now. Jersey has six flags. That's why I'm not screaming Jersey because I know Jersey is not here. And I don't know. No, come down here. I think it's Pete. You see how my kids. Jordan, I smell Pete. Okay. I'm going to look for it when I get off live. Somebody said we need a shirt that say Jordan. I know. She the only person that's in the house. I would really call my other kids. But one is at Six Flags. I don't know where Jada is. Jordan is the only one that I know for a fact is around so that's why i keep screaming her name but everybody that know me be like why do you call jordan that plus you know out of my children that's my first biological my other children the older three are adopted but so i think it's just mentally and emotionally you scream like that i i call her name first all the time and she really doesn't like it i'm not gonna use the word hate it but she don't like it but i think subconsciously i always cry diabetics alive control your blood sugar levels Anyway, see, y'all want to talk about something positive. And guess what else we should do? I want to do it. I'm going to ask Mel if it's okay. Every Friday, I smell pee. She think I, I smell pee. Oh, my God, I smell pee. I don't know where it's coming from. Um, I smell pee somewhere. 
I don't know where it's coming from, but I smell it. Anyway, um, what I want to do every Friday is um, I really, really um, want to do free Fridays or small business Saturdays. If I can use my platform and I can go live with people and you can talk about your businesses, I would love to exchange businesses with everybody. I used to do that too. If you scroll down far enough on my page, a billion. when I was in America, I used to do small business Saturdays. And I used to post small businesses on Saturday and I used to go and at least spend $500 on black owned businesses that were small businesses to stimulate their uh, business. So it's just not one side. I don't ever want y'all to think, oh, you know, buy something for me or whatever the case may be. And it's not just for me. I think that the sales that we do and the specials that we do. We do it because we want people to experience something. That's what good business people do. People that are just starting off on business, they can't, you know, base, they can't give away stuff because they really just start in their businesses. But I want to tell y'all this, especially I see I still got a lot of millimeters on here. I see people dying off because they ain't got nothing to be nosy about. But for the ones of you that are still here for all of these groups and these blogs and all of this stuff that y'all have, start supporting other people's businesses too. You know, do a small business Saturday shout out. And then, you know, maybe y'all can buy one thing from them or whatever the case may be. Um, what I see a lot of people saying, where can you get some stuff? All y'all got to do, you want to pin it in the top of the comments. Um, here, let me see something. The P demons. I know the P demons coming after me. Hold on one second. Here's the one website. Let me try to help. Um, and I got to go y'all. I really was in the middle of doing something and I kept getting phone calls, text messages, uh, with, is it Dr. Shanita? Health and wellness, I think it's with Dr. Shanita. I don't know my own website, y'all. Um, I think this is it. I hope this is it. If not, you can go in my stories and y'all can go find it there. But um, if you don't have money to buy products, go sponsor a girl um, for $5 or whatever the case may be. Okay, yeah, we could do small business Saturdays if that's what y'all want to do. Um, we definitely can go do small business Saturdays. And uh, we could definitely, you know, do that and bring on people. You know, my following is not, you know, as big as other people's. But, hey, I believe as long as you get it out to one person that it would just continue to grow. I did the live the other day about planting seeds in the ground. You know what I mean? The day you put the seed in the ground is not the day that the fruit grows from it or the tree grows from it or the flower grows from it. You know, if you know anything about my talks, I always talk about consistency is key making sure you're consistent on all the things that you know you want to do or whatever the case may be. Uh, what else? Slide in my dear name, email, phone number. The emails go out tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow goes out for our financial literacy course. You or the um, class, course class, all of that. Um, literally, you can get on for free. Bring your notebook. Take some notes. Uh, figure out if it's something you want to do. If you don't want to do it, it's okay. Leave it. If you want to do it, that would be great. I would love to go in a group with you because I'm learning just like y'all. I'm learning what a PIP is. I'm learning how to place trades. I want to be better. So I realize the more you earn, the more you learn, the more you learn, uh, the more you earn. So literally, maybe it's for you. Maybe it's not. You know, next week, I'm bringing on somebody to talk about taxes, how to get the best tax breaks. What can you do, you know, to save money? My goal, getting on my email list is not for me to constantly try to sell you something. It's to give you information, especially when the information is free. Whatever you do with it or whatever you want to do with it, um, literally, that that's your business. But I'm only here to give you the information. So, yeah, thank y'all. I'm tired. Thank you. For allowing me to get on to clear up, because y'all had me stressed out. It's been, it's been a long time since I've been stressed out. Like I told y'all this morning, stress is not what I do. That is not, that it is not on the thing. Email list, you just send it to me in the DM, and then I screenshot it, and I haven't put it there. This has been a big misunderstanding, miscommunication. Me and T-Talk respect the positive and the hustle. Aww. I'm not even mad at T-Talk. I'm going to talk to her. I'm not mad at anybody at all. I don't even think it's the people that pass along information. I just think people are tripping for no reason. And they trying to divide and conquer. And I'm definitely not about to let that happen. 
I will fight about my, now one thing I will do, I will fight about my they don't want to see me. Some days I'll be wanting to come out of retirement. I ain't even gonna lie. Some days I listen, side note, don't y'all record this. Like for real, for real. Oh Shanita, can y'all see this? I don't know if y'all can see. Do anybody see those scars in between my knuckles? I don't know if y'all can see it. This ain't even nothing good to brag on. All those scars came. Because when I used to get mad at people, I used to punch them in their mouth. And their teeth used to cut my hands up. So my knuckles used to always, like, have scabs and scars on them. And my daddy used to be like, stop punching people in their mouth. Punch them somewhere else. My daddy ain't even tell me stop punching them. He used to be like, he used to be like, stop punching people in the mouth. You're messing up your hands, right? And so, it listen, it, there's an old me inside of there sometimes i just be wanting to come out of i was talking to my homeboy the other day and he's a retired boxer and he had me cracking up he was like man sometimes i'd be traveling overseas and i'd be like oh i want to come out of retirement so bad i want somebody to say something just one good time because i want to see if i still got it in me and we was laughing i was like you do i was like me too and we start laughing i know it's childish don't don't Charge it, charge it to me being a human. But we was talking. I was like, me too. I was like, I be wanting to see if I still got it too. But no, nah, I can't do that. Like I, 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 I don't even want to raise my girls like that. They not even no fighters. My girls are some punks. I be tell, don't tell nobody. I be telling them. I be like, y'all some punks. Like my girls, they don't even have it in them. And I, I'm thankful that they have some real clean, like pure little hearts. You know what I mean? Like. They don't, I'm teaching them how to deal with conflict. Cause back in the day, a lot of us, y'all know how we had to be back in the day. And literally, uh, that's not who we are. And I think that he took this ghetto girl from the east side of Detroit and, and put a title in front of my name, gave me the title doctor, uh, gave me the title ambassador. I thank God the people that I do business with don't even get on live. They so busy and so important and making so much money, they don't get on live. So I ain't even got never worry about them seeing any of my lives because they too busy making money and running countries and doing what they do best. They don't even get on live. So I, I praise God for that because uh, the person who I am over here, uh, like one day, I don't know. I don't know if watching my videos at the United Nations didn't tell you enough of how much changed I am. Or if you go back or you get bored, go look at my some of my stuff when I go stand on stages and I speak to people. I, I'm thankful uh, to where I've come from, but um, I never forget who I am and what I've been through. That's that's the magic of it all for me. Like I'm glad where I am, but I never. Uh, forget where I came from. And I am a girl from the hood and I love certain things. You get what I'm saying? I still do something. Might not do it on social media, but it's some stuff I still do. I still eat fried fish sandwiches on white bread with hot sauce and mustard. I still love better made red hot potato chips. I eat them for breakfast. I still like sitting on the porch with no shoes on, talking nonsense with no phones with my friends. I still love spades night where people come over and play spades. I'm still, it's a fly in my house. I'm still that girl. I, I still, I'm still that person. I still uh, love that person. What is it? It'd be interesting if you did CC's interviews with Miss T, especially about the Ghana Water Project. Um, sure, I don't know who that is, but um, yeah. I don't know about the dual citizenship part. I do uh, water project stuff. Um, dual citizenship thing is kind of catch 22 ish. I see a lot of people online selling a lot of lies. So, because of what my position is, I kind of stay out of some of that stuff because it'd be uh, uh, a lot of stuff. I'd be like, let's not forget the okra. Yes, Tasha, I do. Yes, old school in the house. I do eat okra every day. Yay, yeah, hey, Tasha. Tasha on here. Um, see, I done hit that button and it done changed my filter. Did y'all see that? What did I hit on my phone that would change my filter? I don't like it. Now I look like a white lady. Oh, I'm about to go. The filter done changed. Did y'all see that? I tapped my phone yesterday and it changed like that. And then I tapped it by mistake. Now I look like a whole wiper. I'm definitely getting ready to get off of here. Do y'all see my face now? I look like a whole white lady. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Oh, good. Sharisa here. Sharisa, you're going to do taxes with me? It's 140 people left on here. 
It was like 190 something. Sharice, I look like a fat white lady now. Why would they do this to my face? I'm about to get off live. Sharice, real quick before I go, when can you do taxes with these people or do tax breaks? She one of the best tax people I know. Sharice, what, what day can we go live and talk to these people? Because there's a lot of y'all that's letting your auntie and cousin do y'all taxes and they messing y'all up. And she got a, she got like two life. She, okay, tomorrow. We're going to do it tomorrow at lunchtime. Um, I'm going to go live tomorrow around lunch uh, with one of my amazing friends. And she going to give y'all just three because y'all not going to steal my friend's stuff and take it to your tax person. I look so cr I'm definitely getting off of here, white lady. Uh, I can't even take it. These filters on Instagram, boy, oh boy. Um, I'm going to, um, you need her? Send me a DM and say taxes. See, Sharice, there's people on here saying uh, they need you. Okay, quick tax story, and I'm about to go because the people getting off of here. Um, literally, um, I remember there was a time I thought I owed the IRS. I was scared. I went crazy. I got uh, introduced to her um, to do some stuff with taxes. Make a long story short, when I got done, the IRS owed me. From then on, I have been a believer. I'm like, if I could be that scared of the IRS and think that I owe them and now they owe me, I know you the GOAT. So she's one of the best people um, that I know that comes to taxes and tax breaks. She not trying to, you know, do no fuddy-duddy stuff. She's super good when you have sole prop. She, she going to tell you about having sole proprietorships and being an entrepreneur or whatever the case may be. She going to write it out tonight. I'm giving her enough at time in advance to give y'all three tax tips, only three. Um, so she's going to give y'all three tax tips because y'all might run to y'all tax people talking about what you learned on my life. Um, or you can utilize her services. So that's it. I want to go because I don't like the way I look no more. Um, I look like a white person. I don't know why the live did that to me. It took away. I, I don't know what's going on with this filter, but I don't like it. So I Okay, so before I found my other phone to screen record, she was saying that... Um, I guess somebody, I don't know if somebody was saying like they were going to look her up. She was like, I don't give a fuck. You can look my shit up. Like, I did used to be a fucking mean girl. I did used to beat the shit out of people. Like, look it up. I done been arrested for beating, whooping ass, all type of stuff. So she was like, I don't, I don't give a damn about none of that. Um, whatever the case may be. But she was saying that she wanted to clear the air on some things. She wanted to clear the air because she didn't want people to take it the wrong way. And even in her other video, she said, like, it's not male. Like, no, it's not male or whatever the case may be. Um, It's a millimeter, a fan or something like that. But I think that she was, you know, heightening her emotions and she went off again. I get it. Was it a little irresponsible? Maybe because this is Melody's fan base that you putting out there. And now people already been saying that her fan base is crazy as hell. And now you putting out another, giving them another um, bullet to add to the pow pow or another log to add to the fire. Okay. So I'm glad she came out and cleared her little air, whatever the case may be. But she still held strong that she do got them hands. Now, don't y'all tell her that I kept that recording going when she says the top recording, okay? Okay, about them hands, them, them, them war wounds on them hands. Okay? So she's saying still don't fuck her because you will fuck around and find out. Okay? So, y'all, let's clear that up. So, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Um, if y'all have to, get over there and watch um, um, Tea Talk with your girl or Empress video and see what y'all got to say about that, um, about what she said. And then let me know what y'all think because it was some people, you know, they upset with Dr. Shanita. And, I mean, they have a right to be upset and some people is, you know, agreeing with her and saying like that, you know, some millimeters are, you know, overzealous and stuff like that. Some people was like, you know, I don't think it was a millimeter. I don't think it was either. I think it was somebody fake pretending. Um, and she might have fell right in a trap. But I'm glad that she came right back and cleared it up.
Okay. And she said she ain't got no beef with T-Talk. So I don't know if people were saying that T-Talk posted a video and they had some type of beef or something like that. But, um, I don't want the girls to be fighting. Okay. T-Talk and Shanita look like both of them can throw them hands. Okay. So y'all put down in the comment who y'all think will win a fight between T-Talk and Dr. Shanita. I'm just playing. Don't y'all do that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. T-Talk is not the Shanita. <laughs> they ain't gonna get to scrap it. <laughs> she was just posting the damn video. So <laughs> y'all quit being so damn messy. <laughs> Dr. Shanita said she used to just boss a motherfucker upside their head. Boop. Get out of here. I told y'all they ain't want to try her on that damn um they ain't want to try her on that trip that's what she said but she came in with open mind even though she probably had seen how they was treating her even with stormy how she said how red uh male rolled out the red carpet for stormy and she was like shocked to see that she was one of the girls that was talking shit about her so um i don't know um but she said she she ain't like what she seen like and she seen firsthand how ignorant they get so this is something that they not that's not above them that's not above them to fake like they something to, to terrorize her because that's all they was doing was trying to terrorize and harass her dr shanita you be careful because i hope you don't have to pull them damn gloves out because it looked like from them wounds on that hand, them hands should be a damn lethal ass weapon. So if she got to get a hold of your ass, you're going to be in trouble. Okay? So don't fuck with her. Okay? Because she said you're going to fuck around and find out. Don't take her back to the old me. And Dr. Shanita says she's from the east side of Detroit. Okay? Y'all know the east side. You don't... <laughs> Y'all, Toddy Daddy from the East Side. He had me living on the East Side one time. <laughs> I couldn't do it, okay? It was rough. So, yeah, y'all put down in the comments. What do y'all think about that? Do y'all think Dr. Shanita meant any harm? And if you do feel like she meant any harm, do you think that she cleared it up? Um, any or... And, again, I didn't catch the whole live. Um... <clears throat> But um, it looks like she was talking some stuff and clearing up some air. So we'll we'll see down in the comment section, okay? All right, y'all. Like this video and subscribe to your channel. And until next time, y'all. Bye. Oh, my gosh. Ew. Hold on, 20. Huh? Hold on, 20. Hold on. What'd you say?